What's up guys? Welcome to Supercars of London and welcome to my 2015-16 Mercedes AMG GT S. This video is going to be an in-depth tour on this car so you guys get to see all of the details, all of the features, all of the technology within this car. As I go around, I'll probably do just as much exploring as you guys like with the Lamborghini when I found a pair of white Lamborghini gloves in the boot. This car has got so much to explore, so I think let's just get into it and let's see what we can find. This car is the S model. The Mercedes AMG GT came out at the tail end of 2014 as the second supercar from Mercedes with an AMG engine. And when the SLS went out of production with the 6.2 litre naturally aspirated V8, when this came out with the bi-turbo 4 litre V8 that Mercedes have been putting in a lot of their AMG cars, I wasn't so sure about it. I wasn't the biggest fan of the SLS and when this car was launched, I thought it was quite soft. However, having seen many on the road, seeing them in person, this car has got serious, serious presence and sounds fantastic. The turbos are actually situated within the engine, which is definitely beneficial to the sound, but also the performance, the torque delivery, and just the overall experience of driving. Being the S model, this has got 503 brake horsepower, 510 PS, and does 0 to 60 in just under four seconds, around 3.8, and apparently has a top speed of over 200 miles an hour, which I'm yet to find out. And some sad news already, which I'm completely gutted about. My luck with cars does not get any better. A week ago, a tree landed on my nuke. Then I got a stone chip. In this car, I got a stone chip driving at 30 miles an hour in Italy and didn't see anything until I arrived at Cars and Coffee. And unfortunately, I've got a slight slit in my windscreen. So I'm gonna have to get the windscreen replaced so that it is safe to drive. I am so annoyed, but it is something that I really have to do as soon as possible. Let's work our way around the exterior of the car, show you what Dub Customs have done to customize the car, but also show you just what is the AMG, what details there are, and what makes this car so special. So let's start at the front and we have got the small sized number plate with my new personalized number plates and for those asking this is supposed to be a P which is a P that is supposed to be a J that is a W S so PJWs and then X at the end is basically the miscellaneous letter. Dub Customs have wrapped this in true blood and they've also blacked out and dechromed everywhere so as you can see down here this has all been wrapped in gloss black the entire Mercedes badge has been wrapped in gloss black in true dub custom style they have also wrapped my key in true blood so let's check out the boot show you how much space we've got but also what I keep in the boot we have got plates that have been made up from southern sky there which is exactly the same as the ones down there we've also got the French kit a subwoofer is located here the boot space in this car is so big much bigger than my Lamborghini that I can just casually sit here I could probably have a bit of a picnic and the amazing thing is that I fit a massive suitcase two travel bags my backpack and also my camera bag right here as you may have seen in um, some of my previous vlogs it is seriously seriously impressive and a massive one up on the Lamborghini that I had it has just got so much space that I was just amazed at how much I could fit in now let's try and get out of the car and show you the interior <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what is arguably one of the best designed interiors I have ever seen. As we slide down into the classic comfort seats that come standard with the AMG GTS, it is basically like sitting on your sofa in your front living room. It is so comfortable and having done near enough 1500 miles in this car already since I picked it up, I just have not had an ache, a pain. The seats are made to perfection. I've got all of the electric controls down here so I can move the seat up and down, back and forth. And there's just so many buttons and controls in this car to get through. I might as well get stuck into it. So let's go with the center console first and try and play around with the screen up here. We get to the center console, which is absolutely beautiful, but also incredibly, incredibly wide. So this is my hand, and that is how wide it is. So if I was to try and reach out, that is how far away I am from the other side of the car. 
That is me reaching the other side of the car. That is how much I have to lean. It is seriously wide inside this car and the center console obviously gives that perception that it's even wider and you are sitting even further away from your passenger, which can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. The buttons down here are relatively easy to get to know. This obviously controls the volume and the power on and off to the screen up there. We have got manual setting. If I press this, the car will always stay in manual. If the light is on, if the light is off, then it means that it is gonna stick back into auto if you don't change gear frequently enough with the paddles. This button down here is the start stop, which I can turn off and on, and then that makes the car start and stop if you are in traffic. And this opens up the exhaust valves, which is actually very, very noticeable. Sounds epic. This is the track pad. This is the sort of twisty navigator for the screen up here. On this side, we have got suspension, and it comes in three settings, off, sp sportish, and then completely hardcore track mode. This, if you hold it down, is traction off. It also goes into sport mode, which gives you a little bit of play, but catches you at the last minute. We've got engine start stop, and then this bad boy is the drive select, where I can go from individual comfort, sport, sport plus, and race. And every single mode is completely different. However, I haven't set up the individual setting yet. So let's go through the car and do that right now. Belt adjustment, automatic mirror folding function on, Locator illumination. I mean, there's so many cool things that this car has that I have not. Interior lighting delayed shut off, 15 seconds. Exterior light delay shut off, 15 seconds. Easy entry lock, whatever that is. I mean, the amount of kit this has on it that I just haven't discovered yet is insane. Look at all of the amazing, there we go, dynamic select. Aha, I saw the individual configuration. So this is where we can go around. We've got the engine here, suspension, transmission, exhausts, and also ESP. So we can choose what every single thing is. Suspension, do we want it in Sport Plus? Do we want it in Comfort? Do we want it in Sport? I think we probably want suspension in Sport Plus. We want the transmission in manual, we want the exhaust system on, we want traction as off as it can be, so sport and engine, we want in race. I have pretty much just set the individual setting up as race mode. <laughs> but it just shows you what sort of configurations that you can do. You can completely customize the setup of this car, which is incredible. Something, I, I never thought that I would have a car that is this clever. The Lamborghini literally had a Corsa button, the Sport button, and traction on and off. But this, you can pretty much set up exactly how you want the car. If you want soft suspension, and you want the engine in race and the sports exhaust on loud, but you want to cruise around in comfort, then that is the setting for you. It is insanely clever. And I'm just gonna put it in individual now. And the valves are on. <laughs> Let's check out engine data. Oh yes. That's cool. Vehicle data. Oh my God. I don't even know what that is. That is the individual setting set up, which is pretty much race mode. But the car comes with the premium package, which is the panoramic sunroof, the 10 speakers, the AMG kick plates on the front here, and also a reversing camera, which I can show you. Let's start the car up. So if we were to reverse now, It's very, very, very HD, which looks. Here's Sam's car. Release lever one. I'm looking for lever one, which looks like it's underneath all of this, which is there. Um, 
Um, it's a bit of a shame that I haven't been able to show you guys the engine. I don't really know what to do because the lever isn't where it says in the manual. Is this a real Mercedes? <laughs> anyway, if I can find the lever at some point during this trip or the road trip home with Sam from Seen Through Glass, I will show you the engine bay. But in terms of the in-depth tour on this car, going through the individual setting, going through some of the technology that I have available to me on the iPad style screen, this is the end of the video. Hopefully you have enjoyed taking a closer look at my car and I've thoroughly enjoyed showing you what Dub Customs have been able to pull off but also what an amazing car the AMG GTS is. So please give it a thumbs up if you love this video and click subscribe if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow for another epic video down here in Monaco. Cheers guys.